What I love about macaroons is how delicate they are. Ah! This is gourmet cooking. Ah! Welcome to the Try Guys Make Macarons. Woo! Today we're making fancy, gourmet, expensive cookies. The kinds of cookies you can make into trees. Insert shot that helps justify that statement. Today we are making macarons, not macaroons. Macaron? Uh, according to the chef, it's macaroon. So suck it, Zach. Macaroons are the things with coconut. Macarons are like the little sandwich cookie things that you love. Yeah, tomato, tomato. You can call them both, but nobody does. Our special guest today is Gabby Hanna, one of my favorite people in the entire world. A macaroon is a completely different cookie. I bet you say fucking GIF. I say GIF. Do you say GIF? How do you say your name? I say it's Keith. Why is that? Because that's how I pronounce it. Because your parents named you that. Now, if people started calling you Kaoth or Kieth or something, you'd be like, that's annoying, because that's yeah, not your what name. If it sounded better as The creators of GIF call it a GIF, Keith! Welcome, I'm Fabien. I'm the pastry chef for La Durée Los Angeles. So today we'll try to show you how to make the French macaron. Yeah. Could you say that again? Macaron. Oh no. Macaron. Macaron. He's saying oh. 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 I've been baking my whole life with my grandmother. After when I finished school, I start pastry school. And I've been doing that for over 15 years now. How long are you in school until they're like, okay, you can handle the macaron? Get good at macaron, it's gonna take a few years. Yeah. A few years? <laughs> oh Is this God. like advanced? Level. To get the perfect macaron is really advanced, yeah. I like the way macarons taste, but I love the way they look. The smell, you can pack them in little tiny boxes and they're like the perfect gift. I love sweet. I like caramel, I like cheesecake, I like chocolate, I like cake, I like tiramisu, I like it when you can stir it up, I like when you can mix it, I like sweet healthy things, I like rich things, I like subtle things. I love sweets. Chef, now I know we haven't earned it, but may we? Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, oh my god. god. So today we'll make some macarons, so let's try some first. Oh, come on. Look you did not. You made them with a little triceratops. So it should be crunchy outside, really soft and creamy inside. What is this flavor? Orange blossom. Orange, Orange blossom. blossom. I taste the flower. Yeah. It seems like there are infinite flavors in the macaron world. Yeah, there is no limit. As long as you can uh, find a good recipe and uh, make it work, we have like over like maybe 500 different recipes. 500? Yeah. That's a lot of cookie sandwiches. 160 years. Today we are all making our very own macaroon. We've all chosen different flavors. I'm not a dessert guy. I like salt. I like fried chicken. I thought if I was going to make a macaroon. I should make it pair with fried chicken. And what goes better with fried chicken than waffles? I'm making maple ones. They're gonna be maple. A basic ingredient is the whole almond. Almond and powdered sugar. And I will grind it until I get a thin powder, but I still want some pieces to have a little crunch. Oh yeah, there's like still little chunkies in here. Wow, so is it gluten-free because there's no flour? Yeah, yeah gluten-free. Whoa! Shit! You know, lately I feel like there's been too much tea spilling on YouTube, and it's taken us away from the real tea that really matters. Tea. I'm gonna make a tea-flavored Macaron. Okay, so I beat up the egg whites until they are nice and foamy. And after I will pour my simple syrup sugar that I will bake until 120 degrees Celsius and I will pour it over the egg white and the temperature of the sugar will cook the egg white. So the With the sugar, sugar cooks the egg? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Start to cook the egg. Oh, it's meringuing. So now I will uh, mix the almond flour with a little bit more egg white and food coloring, depending on the color we want to do. Well, the first step, I've been dying to know what this feels like all day. Shaving cream and whipped cream together. It must be the perfect thing to pie somebody with. It's got some resistance to it. Oh yeah. Do you need the egg whites? Yes. Okay. Here you go, chef. Uh, thank you. Here you go, chef. Uh, thank you so much, chef. Here you go, chef. Oh, thank you. Here you go, chef. Thank you. So I'm just mixing the color and the egg white together. It looks pretty red now, but it will become really nice uh, pink pale. I'm Italian, so when I think macaroon, I think pizza. And what's the closest I can get to pizza is strawberry and basil. 
Kind of like tomato and basil. I'm gonna make the outside shell pink because it's close to red. I would like to make peanut butter and jelly macaron. I love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, so why not bring it to a cookie form? So I uh, will just pour everything inside. Whoa, this <sighs> looks straight up like um, that like crunchy slime that they do on Oh my god! Oh, oh, Squam! You haven't added any flavor yet, right? No. Is the flavor in the cookie too, or just the filling? Just the filling, most of the time just the filling. Oh, secret it to be a little bit liquidy, but not too much. So you want to keep the fluffiness yes. of the meringue. So the flavor of the cookie is essentially almond. Yes, the flavor of the cookie is almond, and what we'll uh, put inside the filling, after a few days, will infuse the shell from one to three days. So fresh macarons Are is gross. like a bad thing. Yeah, it's not that great. You don't <laughs> want it fresh. I can't, yes. this, uh, this is crazy. You gotta be macaron your game. Wow. I'm gonna make my outer cookie green. Chef, you said that the green is very strong, right? Yes. One drop, two drop. So you just put it in? Yeah, I just put it in and I made this porridge. Here's the thing. Yes. I'm a really bad baker, uh -huh. but I really like to win. Oh, I'm competitive too. Also, I don't wanna come in third place. Literally anything else, except for fourth. Every time we've done this, I've come in third place. And third we have Ned. Third place, the apple pie. I got third place. We definitely got third place. <laughs> it's close, it's great. <gasps> it's very upsetting. Now, Chef, do I, am I putting this whole cream in? Yes. <laughs> oh, you just went for it. Yeah. Gabby, tell me about your EP. It's called Two Way Mirror. Ooh, how'd you come up with that name? I caught my ex cheating on me. Oh. Because another girl wrote, I love you in the steam of the shower. And then when I took a shower, it has re-steamed the mirror. And then I love you showed up in the mirror. And oh. I was like, oh. What? Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. All right, I think mine's pretty well combined. At this point, I'm just knocking more out, air out of it. Uh, yeah, a little bit more. It's not shiny enough yet. Until I have a nice and shiny, if they are too liquidy when we pack them, they won't stay in shape and they will like become really flat and look Don't weird. Want that. Oh, my thumb. My fucking thumb is getting sore. Ooh, my grip hand is, jeez, God. Chef, your hand must be so strong. How's my consistency, Chef? Uh, you still need to mix a little Next bit more. Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> Whoa, golly. Oh my god. I think that's done, Ned. <laughs> he said keep going. <sighs> you got this, Kate. You know what you're doing? How's this looking, Chef? It's looking great. Yeah, you're good, good to, to go. go. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so now I will pipe the macaron. I will do two different sizes, a mini macaron and a little bit larger macaron so we can put more stuff inside. So I will put my uh, macaron uh, dough in the piping bag and just pipe, small round shape. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at them glue. Just need to make sure you have two of each the same size so you can sandwich it. This is the most exciting. Scoopy doop. Well, I put my batter into a bag, and the bag got a little metal tip. I put the metal tip on the big old pan, and I let it go drip, drip, drip. I put the cookie out and make a cookie bake, but it's not just a cookie, it's a macaroon. Hey! Ugly as fuck. What's happening over there, Zach? Uh, disaster. Yeah, don't put them too close to each other because yeah, they will. Uh, they need to be farther apart. Yeah, we'll have a big line of oh, macaron. Yes, gonna... That's just back to the drawing board. <laughs> okay, I get it now. If you put it closer to the ground, put it on the ground. <laughs> I wish I would have made my tray look better because yours are really nicely spaced. Ah, uh, that's that's so kind, Gabby. You know, I always love meeting fans. <sighs> of my work. Feel real good about my technique now, but it took me a while to get there. Mine are sort of uh, abstractly living on the pan now. His were a lot better looking. Yeah, he's better at this. It's only because he's dedicated his life to it, Zach. So I will shake them nice and flat. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, ready to go into the oven. Wow, I'm so excited. I. I Keith, wait for me, my God. Well, we can't whack at the same time. There's only one whacking towel. Okay. Yo, my shit's circular as fuck. Oh, wow, that one's getting big. Well, I forgot about the whack part, and these are gonna get huge, and it's just gonna become one giant thing. This just feels weird to just It is fun, though, right? It. Come on. Gah. 
Ah! Why don't they call them wackaroons? Wackaroons. Wackaroons. I am adding peanuts to the top of mine because I have a peanut butter and jelly macaron. Just a little bit more fun texture to it. Because I'm making maple, they have these little powdered crepes. Sprinkle them just nicely atop my shells. And what's better with tea than a little bit of rose petal? That's perfect. That is artistry. Those nuts are gonna burn in the oven. Yum. I got this weird Mickey one. But maybe this Mickey one will work with this almost Mickey one. Oh, you know what? You're right. If I combine, <gasps> Keith, you're a genius. Oh, Zach, that won't have been whacked. That part of Mickey's head won't have been whacked. I did it. Wow. I combined them. Now that we've finished our macarons, we are going to put them in the oven for 150 degrees Celsius for 13 minutes. Okay, so the macaron shell are out of the oven. Uh, they are nice, so I will flip so I can sandwich it. So I have a, a rose petal buttercream. I will come and pipe just a little bit of rose buttercream in the shell and just need to close them. Oh. Perfect. Wow. Sandwich. So I make them a little bit bigger so I will be able to add more stuff in the macaron. Oh boy. Oh, Raspberry. No. I will add also a little bit of lychee, so the sweetness of the lychee will balance the sourness of the raspberry. So I will just do a little bit of decoration, make it look nice. Oh. All right, let's check out our finished macarons in three, two, one. Oh! No! I thought these were yes. examples. These are ours. Oh, look at the little baby. Oh my oh, God. Wow, we actually did a really good job. Oh, look at these. Ooh. Oh. Yours look great. I think yours are actually better. Really? Than mine. Yeah, look, well. they, they have the little foot ridge. It just shows that it grew and got taller, whereas mine didn't look well, let's like... Let's see the bottom of yours. Yeah, the mix was better in mean, yours. I didn't mix it enough or I mixed it too much? A uh, little bit too much, probably. Too much. Wow, so I did it just right. I'm trying to only pick out the best ones. Oh my God, there's a hair in this one. <laughs> what? Is that your hair, my hair? Your... That's a cat hair, bro. And then check this out. This was a mistake, but we made it into a feature. We got Mickey Mouse macaron, macaron. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. Oh, I'm dumb. They're supposed to be bottoms of these cookies, but I made them all top. So oh. they're gonna have to sit on nuts. <laughs> I'm done. That's funny. So I've got Earl Grey, matcha, buttercream. No tea is complete without a little bit of honey. That looks awful. Yeah, it looks straight up like yeast. It looks awful. This looks like some guacamole. What is that guacamole that's turning? Okay, so I am going to make my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Vanilla and peanut butter. Blueberry. I'm gonna mix those together for part of it. I'm pretty much just gonna stick with the maple on the inside, but I'm gonna do a little decoration on the outside. Some pecans, some berries. Really make it feel like it's a Belgian waffle experience. Hmm. I think it needs more maple. Just a dash more. This is strawberry jam. A little bit of balsamic. That is a powerful flavor. I've got some fresh basil here. And my wife's favorite cheese, mascarpone cheese. Bro! You like it? That is alarmingly delicious. Ooh! Is this spoiler alert? I'm sorry, but that's delicious. I mean, we're producing the video. We can both be tied for first place. We're going down, we're going down, we're going down to Flavortown. Dollop. Dollop. Yeah, heck yeah, all right, yeah! Wow, it has an interesting matte finish, doesn't it? It really does. It really looks like wasabi. Whoa, look at that spiral. Pretty good, right? It's a perfect spiral. Maybe too much jelly, question mark? Probably. Whoa! That's a fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay, and now I'm gonna give mine a little dusting of tea, a little finish. Okay, so I have my strawberry jam and balsamic outside. Then I'm going to make a center of mascarpone and basil. It looks like a little pizza. It does look it's like a little pizza. It's like pizza sauce yeah, and dude. cheese. You did a good job. Wow. You ready to smush some boys? Let's smush some boys. We just gotta do the signature finish. I'm just gonna stab it into the cookie. Oh wow, Mickey. Mickey, yeah, he's having a moment. Come on, Mickey, stay together. Oh, that's cute as fuck. It's a mommy and me macaroon. Cut a strawberry in half. Whole strawberry. Cut it in and half. And a piece of basil. Oh yeah, I already know exactly how mine will look. 
Daddy and the Champs. Keith, I need your help here, man. I know we're competitors, but right now, I need you to help me get this Mickey onto this plate. Okay, okay. Ooh. Hold him, hold him, Ooh. hold him. It's like Operation Dumbo Drop, but with a Mickey. Oh my God. Oh, oh. I feel like we're on Cake Boss or something. All right, we've plated our macarons, and now it's time to judge them, but we're all gonna be winners because we're all gonna eat these at the end. Eugene's gonna be so jealous he wasn't here. Yeah, yeah screw that guy. Yeah. 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 All right, chef, these are our four macarons. Beautiful pronunciation. Thank you, I thought yeah, that was you did good. Great. Yeah. All did a great job with the shell. There is a lot of different ID and great ID, and so yeah, I'm really excited to try it. This is my continental breakfast macaron, maple buttercream, and there's pecans on the big boy, but not on the little guys. They look nice. The shell is a little bit thin. Can't really taste the maple. You should have put more. A little bit at the end. Fuck! <laughs> Let's cut into the big, big daddy. Oh, it's nice and crunchy outside. Mm. This yeah. is good. With the pecan and everything, it's really good. Chef, I hope you're ready for some drama, because this is the spilled tea macaron. Hints of Earl Grey, matcha, honey. And we also have this Mickey one. He's kind of <laughs> he's kind of just for funsies. The macaron shell looks really nice. And love the sprinkle of the rose Thank on top. Thank you, Chef. Interesting. Thank you. <laughs> Tastes a lot like matcha, but um, it's good. So tell me, in France, did you guys eat peanut butter and jelly? No, we don't. So, this isn't as nostalgic as I had hoped. However, welcome to America. Thank you. <laughs> Very generous with the filling. Maybe uh, a little a bit too generous. That's good, yeah, Fine. very interesting. Yay! Chef Fabian, this is my strawberry and basil macaron. It's what I imagine pizza would be if it were a dessert. Like the plating, maybe a little bit too crunchy. I'm so intrigued. Bro. 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 But the um, balsamic and the strawberry is really good. Nice. Now guys, this was really about enjoying the process of baking and appreciation. But now, Chef, we do need you to pick a winner. And the loser. And start with the loser. <laughs> okay, so in fourth place, I will put this one. <laughs> <laughs> Very surprised, but perhaps it was because it was the most basic. The macaron shell, a uh, little bit too thin. So it was basic and bad. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, in third place. I will go with this one. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. He's never not gotten oh my god. place. I can't oh believe god. I was here for this moment. Oh. It's because Eugene's not here. I'm your lucky charm! You're my lucky charm! Can you guys quit <laughs> celebrating for a moment and let me live in my sorrow? <laughs> Chef, what was wrong with my perfect tea? Flavor of the matcha was a little bit too strong, so it's not for everyone. Not for everyone. Yeah. But you liked it, just between us. Yeah. Who is the winner of the Try Guys plus Gabby Hanna Macaron contest. So they are both uh, good. I like the peanuts on top of this one, uh, but it's a little bit too sweet. Okay. This one, you could have had some stuff on top, like sprinkle or work a little bit more on the color, but the taste is really interesting and I love the idea of everything you put together. So it's really hard to judge, but uh, I will go with the strawberry and basil. Oh my God! Thank you, Chef. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is amazing to go from perpetually third to first. My Nana would be proud. Thank you to Laudery for having us. Thank you, Chef, for teaching us the way of the macaron. And uh, congratulations to Ned, who finally didn't get third place. Congratulations, thank Ned. Thank you. Wow. You know what, guys? <laughs> we tried. You're bad. <laughs> it really looks like what you don't want it to look it like. It looks totally like poop.